OK, and now let's go around the world where we look at China's footprint on the globe, starting with Donan TV, a provincial satellite TV station based in Taiwan's neighboring Fujian province. On Tuesday, Taiwan released a satellite record on the route of the fishing boat fired on by Philippine Coast Guards, flatly rejecting Manila's allegations that the boat intruded into Philippine waters. The killing of the 65-year-old crew member Hang Shi Cheng sparked outrage in Taiwan, which has announced a series of economic sanctions against the Philippines. Taiwan's fisheries agency said the voyage data recorded from the fishing boat showed it was not in Philippine waters when it came under fire on May 9th. The Philippines said on Monday it will make coordinated efforts with Taiwan to look into the incident. Its Coast Guard claimed that the fishing boat intruded into Philippine waters and tried to ram the Coast Guard vessel, forcing them to open fire. Taiwan leader Ma Ying-jeou has termed the killing cold-blooded murder based on an inquiry by Taiwan, which showed that the boat has sustained more than 50 bullet holes and showed no signs of ramming. The incident has sharply raised tensions between Taipei and Manila, sparking concern from Washington. Philippine Justice Secretary Leila de Lima said on Monday a National Bureau of Investigation team would fly to Taiwan to examine the fishing boat and interview survivors. De Lima said that the Taiwanese investigators would be given access to their evidence, including statements from the Coast Guard. Philippine President Aquino has personally apologized for the incident, but Taiwan has rejected his apology and announced sanctions. These include a ban on the hiring of new Philippine workers, recalling its envoy and staging a naval drill in the waters off of northern Philippines. Taipei has repeatedly pressed Manila to issue a formal government apology to compensate the fisherman's family and to apprehend the killer. Philippine officials say the issue of a formal apology is complicated by the fact that Manila officially recognizes Beijing over Taipei. And now moving on to the Global Times, a daily Chinese tabloid under the auspices of the People's Daily Newspaper, focusing on international issues.